How many times I have tried to film this? I'm gonna take a brush like this. This is just a flat um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna take my NACAC, um HD concealer. It's a lot wider than my LA Girl concealer. And it's a lot thicker. And this is what I'm gonna use to apply as my base. I'm gonna take a dense brush like this. I use it for my concealer. Um, I'll link the brushes down below that I'm using because I got these from Amazon and they are a great bargain. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna be using both of the Sahara, both of the Juvia's Place palettes. I'm gonna be using the Sahara palette right here. And I am going to be using the Zulu palette right here. I get a little overexcited, you know, and um, I end up putting all the colors on my eyes. The shade called Cat Santa right here. I'm gonna take it on this brush. And it's kind of like the same shade as my skin, but I'm just gonna soften that into the crease. Just something that'll be for a nice um, transition, you know? So the next shade I'm gonna take is called Jamila, light reddish brownish color. And I'm taking the same brush and I'm really focusing that into the crease as well. Actually curve my crease out like so. See that stuff is breaking up. It's like breaking apart. I'm gonna take this brown shade right here and I'm gonna attempt to make this look I don't know, less funny looking? I don't know. I don't know why it's breaking apart. That's weird. And it's not breaking apart on the other eye. Well, it's breaking apart a little bit. Oh, dear. I don't know if you guys could see it, but maybe it's, a f maybe it's not working together or working well with the Fenty Beauty. I don't know. So I cleaned off my eyes and reprimed with my LA Girl concealer. Instead, powdered it with frame from the Urban Decay Vice Floor palette. Went ahead and repeated those same three colors that I already had put in my crease. So the next shade I'm going to take is the purple shade. Yeah, the purple shade from Zulu palette. And I am going to lightly Focus that on the outer portions of the crease first. And then whatever's left, pull it into the front. So I am taking this more fluffy type dense brush and I am going to take that same purple and really deepen up that crease a little bit more. And I'm resting it directly into the crease and kind of like carving up my crease a little bit. So that brush that we had before, you're gonna take it and soften out that. I am gonna take a angled brush like so for my liner and for liner I am going to use that purple so I'm gonna take Ruby Kisses lip liqueur in the shade cream and I am gonna use that as a base for my wing liner I'm gonna take this brush here. It's just a e.l.f. It says it's a concealer brush, but I don't know what that's concealing. So I'm just gonna take that same purple and pack that on top of that lipstick liner. Next 
color I'm going to take is this silver color here. It's called Iman. And I'm going to stick that right on the lid. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the lip gloss. And just have a really precise look. I'm taking that same angled brush. And I'm going to carve out my crease. The moment ain't popping like I thought it was going to pop. Don't know. Don't know if I'm loving it. Well, instead, I am going to take this color right here. It's just really pink. I'm going to take a little bit of Sokoto. I don't know, right there. I don't know. I think I have a look. I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. Figured out what I was going to do. I just took some glue to be. Sprayed my brush. I took a lot of it too. And I just slammed it onto my... It looks like baby throw up, but I slammed it onto my eye. And I just smudged it outward. Make very sloppily. Then I took a flatter brush, flat fluffy, fluffy brush, and I took Sokoto. And I just drug it. And whatever was left, I put it in the inner corner. Like so. I don't know, I feel like some type of magical dra dragon or something like that. I don't, I don't know. The color that I'm just going to take on the bottom lower lash line is Sokoto and Jamila. Mixing those two together. I wonder what would happen if I mixed all these colors together. Really mix those colors together. Mix, 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 mix. I actually want to take Sokoto. I'm feeling this. I'm really... I'm feeling this. I, don't, I think the next color I should just take is just it's just this teal color. Pack that on top like that, and packing that in the inner corner. So this is the final look. Now on to the giveaway. I'm giving away a Zulu palette and some eye makeup brushes. I used the same pink set of brushes um, in the tutorial. They are really, really great starter brushes, really, really great blending brushes. And I wanted to give back to you guys. And depending on how this giveaway goes, will depend on if I will give away more, you know, things during the holidays that's coming in. So what you have to be doing in order to win this giveaway, you must be subscribed to me on YouTube. So if you aren't subscribed to me, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. The button's down below. It's free. The next thing, you have to be following me on Instagram. So if you do not have Instagram, I advise you to get one. The third thing you have to do is you have to go over to my UPS horror story and you have to like and share that video. Now, a quick little update. Um, I did talk with the owner of the store and what he let me know is that they denied my claim based on the investigation. They said that my boxes were not packaged right. So I replied to him and I said, um, so how am I supposed to package boxes that have clothes in them? Because if you did see the video, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. But if you saw in the video, you noticed that my clothing items 
they were burst out, bursting out of the boxes. So am I supposed to bubble wrap clothing? How does that work? I also let him know that the things that were broken, they were bubble wrapped. My vanity, my mirrored vanity, it was bubble wrapped, as well as this vanity that's in front of me right here. This one arrived perfect. You guys even saw on Snapchat, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. But you guys even saw on Snapchat how I package my mirrored vanity. I bubble wrap them both. I cardboard them both. They both were packaged the same way. Tell me why one came broken. Um, with my computer, I made sure that was bubble wrapped. Um, make sure that was bubble wrapped and it was covered in a lot of thick sheets and it was cracked on its side. Another thing, they didn't really come out to my house to investigate the boxes. They gave me a phone investigation. So based on the phone investigation, my claim should not have been denied because if you listen to everything that I said, if you listen to everything that I said, I packaged everything correctly. And if you package everything correctly, the claim should not be denied, right? Another thing is I was like, okay, so if my stuff was not packaged correctly, I've seen the owner himself um, once before. When I went to go and ship something with UPS one time, he did um, tell me that, hey, this is not packaged right. I'm going to package it the right way. They've done that with multiple customers that were in front of me. They've done that to me. You know, if something's not packaged right, they always tell me, hey, this is not packaged right. We can't ship it unless it's packaged correctly out of all the eight boxes that this man saw me bring into the store not the owner but another guy but out of all the boxes and he's also t told customers and me that things were packaged right out of all the days you tell you don't tell me that my items are not packaged right i bought i packaged eight big boxes eight of them and you mean to tell me out of all the time i stood up there you did not tell me that my pack my boxes were packaged incorrectly so yeah you have to share and like that video to bring awareness to my situation so that ups does not get away with things like this any longer like people should be reprimanded for the things that they do so <clears throat> Yeah, if you did like this video, make sure that you do thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed and you are following me on all of my social medias. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I just want to see you shine, cause I know you are.